Now for our game of the week, Baldwin at Peach County. This was the first game for new Trojans head coach Marquise Westbrook, who spent four seasons as the head coach and won two state titles at Warner Robins. He takes over for Chad Campbell, who after 16 seasons left to coach at Westfield. A very tough opponent for the opener as the Baldwin Braves could have one of the best offenses in Georgia with star running back Michael Welsh. Here's Shaz Parani now with our game of the week. Hey, Bill, a new kickoff time here, 7.30 at Trojan Stadium instead of the usual eight, but didn't matter. Trojan fans packed the stadium tonight, and we're looking for Marquise Westbrook's first game here. Now, last year, the Trojans went and won 50-20 to in Milledgeville, stole the game from the Braves, but this time, Baldwin looking to do the same and avenge that loss here in Fort Valley. So, let's see who gets out to a great start to their 2023 campaign. The Peach County Trojans getting ready for the Marquise Westbrook era in Fort Valley. While on the other hand, the Bowling Braves looking to fill off that disappointing season last year. Now first drive of the game for Baldwin. Quarterback Lamar Collins in a little trouble, but he moves out. Finds his receiver for Monte Palmer. Finds the empty grass, breaks an ankle, goes in for a score. However, there is a holding flag, so it's called back. But a few plays later, Braves finally scores Colorado come in. Michael Welsh makes his way in for the score. Point after no good, and Braves beat 6 0. Now, next Peach County drive. Quarterback DJ Hudson, he's in a little of a pickle, but somehow gets out of there and he finds open field, and he would go all the way for the 47 yard gain as he gets taken out of bounds right around the 35 yard line. But Trojans don't score. Now, next drive, Howard Punty. And why is this important, you'd say? Well, here you'll see a Trojan touch the ball. That means it's Monk. And Baldwin takes over with great field possession. And oh boy, would they make it worth it. A few plays later, Welch scores his second rushing TD of the night. Point after is good and Braves speed 13-0. Now with just 40 seconds left in the first half, Hudson throws a pick to Yari Kalex, who is there and takes a goal for the pick six. Baldwin with all the momentum going into half as they would lead 20 nothing. Now first drive of the second half for Peach County. Running back Chris Scott finds the hole and he would go over a pretty nice game, spins out just to get a few more yards and it pays dividends as later. Running back Wayne Coleman would punch it in for the first four of the season for the Trojans. The Bowman would lead 20 to seven. Now you hold up, ensuing kickoff. Michael Welsh back there to return and he would grab it at the 11 yard line here. He works his way to the right side. He might have a little bit of open space. Who knows, but it's looking good. He keeps going and he somehow gets out of that mess there. Works his way to the left side and Michael Welsh takes it for the 89 yard kickoff return touchdown. That would put things away as Baldwin goes on to win it 34 to 13. Well, Baldwin comes here in Fort Valley and avenges their loss from last season. Pure domination from start to finish. Defense looked great, offense looked phenomenal. Now they look forward to next week as they host Putnam County in Milledgeville, while the Trojans will take on Northside. Bill, that's all I've got here from Trojan Stadium for you. Back to you.